All right, back for the fifth and final round of the Standard League. Uh, we're on the draw here. Uh, this hand is pretty decent. D stands for decent. In case that was unclear. I'm going to green white land. No need to sit back and wait. Uh, probably going to play Avatar on two. We may wait a tick, but I think it's important just to play guys against the control decks when you can. Play creatures, play guys. Yep. We don't want too many of our creatures to just die to impulse, but with the two Mana Gorge or Hydra in, in our hand, like, it's pretty likely that he's going to kill, like, our first two or three creatures. Uh... Alright, we'll play the first Hydra, and then probably not going to play the second Hydra until we can protect it with Dromcom. He just plays a Gideon here. I think I'd be okay with that. Which is a black. It comes in tap though, so he can't crackle and doom us this turn. <laughs> I'm assuming this Hydra is just gonna hit the bin. Then we're just gonna play a 4 4. And probably Hydra hold up command, if I had to guess. Another Seeker. Kind of want to attack. I'm not gonna though. We don't really want to sacrifice our Hydra. And uh, if he goes Crackling Doom, we get to sack the Endless One and then eat a Seeker. It's possible we should have just Jamoka's Command fought, attacked, but I do like the fact that now we get to uh, sacrifice Endless One over Hydra if he has Crackling Doom. Which I assume he does if he just took off a turn to fetch black with Sunken Hollow when he could have got a second white for something like, uh, oh, what's it called? Gideon or what have you. Should be a, a quick couple of games here since he seems like a much more aggressive version of Jeskai. Seekers tend to be, uh, uh, you know, a moniker of how aggressive your deck is going to be. He may be a deck that has, like, Reflector Mage in it, too, which could be annoying. Really just hoping these Dromcoms protect us, though. Can I just want to take it? Yes, I have, like, two spells here to trade, but I think I'm actually okay with that. So, I'm just going to block here. He goes Crackling Doom, I think I still just sack Endless One. And if he goes like Crackling Doom plus a thing. So, if we sack Endless One, we actually don't have to give him any life. But, we get to eat his guy. Maybe we should have blocked both. Probably should have blocked with both. That was a, very likely a mistake. I'm just going to gamble and try to eat his guy. If he wants to trade, I think that's okay. We should have definitely blocked with both, though. That was a mistake. So, yeah, we just got to eat a guy. So that was nice. So we're just going to play Hydra, and I think we're just going to go ahead and fight. There. Could have put another counter on our Hydra, but I actually want to keep these Hydras around. Hydra so good. So big! Still at 19. He did gain a lot of life, but we did get to basically eat a... Oh yeah, we're definitely just taking this. He's going to switch that power toughness. We're going to go to 8. And we can prevent with Dromoka's command. Or both Dromoka's commands. Your choice. Whack him for 8. If he goes for another Wandering Fumarole, we can just eat it for free with a Dromoka's Command and then kill him. If he goes Jeskai Charm, we can prevent, put a counter on a guy. 
If you go Chandra, he's dead. I guess we kind of need to play around Murderous Cut here. Aw. So he's just going to go for the Jeskai Charm, Jeskai Charm. So we're going to go Prevent, put a counter. So we could have just gone for the kill. Oh no, we actually need, we could go, yeah. Make him sack an enchantment, put a counter on our creatures, and then he would have been forced to Jeskai Charm us, or one of our creatures. So we'll prevent and put a counter here. And hopefully that is enough since we are at eight. If he has another Jeskai Charm, he can just Jeskai Charm hit us with Fumarole. So maybe we actually should have held back one of our creatures. Him drawing the second Flooded Strand means that we might just die since we didn't have another white source. We also could have just taken the first Jeskai Charm. Yeah, so we actually died to double Jeskai Charm. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, you win. Because he's just going to hit us with a Fumarole. We should have held back uh, one of the Mana Gorge Hydras, I think. That was a mistake. We could have won that game, and we gave it away. A couple of different small plays really punished us. All right. Again, I, I'm okay signing out Oath of Nyssa a lot, especially if we just don't have time to, uh, you know, dig for stuff. So we'll board those out. Falconers, again, not great. Some Silk Wraps are probably good. I think Liner Scout's okay. Just can buy us some time and effectively counter something like his uh, first Jeskai charm by gaining some life. I think that's fine. Nissa is actually not too good in this matchup, though. Maybe we want to just get rid of all the Nissas. Let's bring in Silk Wrap, some Gideons. Maybe leave in one Oath. A little more white heavy than I would like. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut one Nissa. Just card is pretty sweet on the play, just pumping my team. I think we just gave that game away. Just autopiloting. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I'm gonna probably go scales into two two endless one plus one swept teeth tapped. getting a, a canopy vista so we make sure we have double green and white I can also just play hanger back walker I don't hate that but uh, I think I want to make sure I get my uh, white source for the silk wrap in case he plays a jace or a mantis rider or some such it's possible we just don't want to put any creature into play that dies to fire impulse besides hanger back walker though but I don't want to take that turn off to do nothing that's the thing. If we take that turn off to do nothing, that gives him basically a free turn two to cast whatever he wants. And it makes it so he can fetch whatever lands he wants. Whereas if we play the Endless One, we start to put a little more pressure on him. He has to react to us. <clears throat> Jay Zaruni. Yeah, we just gotta knock that out of the park. Pretty sure we can't just sit on it. If he goes, like, fetch land removal spell, loot, flip, it's gonna be a real tough time trying to, to fight it. Alright, well he has a second one. There's not a lot we can do about that. So we'll play hanger back. Actually... Could just play Avatar. Avatar actually seems a little bit better here. Doesn't die to Impulse, which is tight, so we can't go Impulse, Flashback, kill both creatures. And uh, <clears throat> if he flips this Jace, we can potentially put enough pressure on it to take care of it. If he goes Crackling Doom, Tick Up, then it ends up being a little bit worse. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
getting a 5-4 into play when we're stuck on two lands. All these other cards in our hand get much better if we draw a land, whereas Avatar doesn't get significantly better later in the game if he has a bunch of Crackling Dooms and stuff in his deck. Reflector Mage, that's a beating. Alright, well luckily our hand is full of stuff that are not avatars, so... I assume he's gonna flip tick up. Seems... reasonable. I don't know why he wouldn't. This matchup seems okay, but not great. Reflector Mage is a beating against this deck. Ugh. I don't even know what to play. Angerback Walker is only better than in. I guess it would just be a 3 3 endless one, so he could just impulse it, but that makes him tick down. I really want to draw a land. I don't really want to burn a Silk Wrap on a Reflector Mage. And I want to make sure that some of the creatures we play can actually uh, stick around through removal, so... I think playing the hanger back there is okay. If we draw a land, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might go uh, Silk Wrap Servant. Especially if we play something that we want to Silk Wrap. We desperately just need to draw a land that is not Canopy Vista. Uh, we can block here and make two Thopters, but does not seem that good. Another Jason Rooney. Come on, man. No idea what's in his hand. I don't think it would be like a bunch of dig through times and stuff. I feel like he would have just cast Dig Glaster instead of a redundant Jace. Maybe his hand is just like mono Jeskai charms. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that Jace off the table or even deal damage to it. Like, if he just puts Hanger back on top with a Jeskai Charm, I think we're just dead. Being stuck on lands is kind of bad. Not a lot we could do about it. I think our opener was pretty sweet. He just got choked. Not literally, but... Manus Rider, we can maybe beat Manus Rider. Alright, so I think we just start by attacking Hanger back at Jace. And then <clears throat> maybe Silk Wrap something. Pretty sure he's going to chump with Reflector Mage. I feel like if he's gonna do that though, he should have just shrunk hanger back since he has all these creatures. Really? I assume he's gonna keep the Jace on eight. Look like he might want that Jace in a turn or two. Uh, I guess we can play an avatar here. Self-inflicted wound. Yeah, I think we just have to... We can actually play two 2-2 two, two endless ones. But that doesn't help us next turn to really pressure Jace all that much. He gets to block one, shrink one. Self-inflicted wound, we can just put some counters onto Avatar. 
You can also block his Manus Rider. We might be able to race a Jace Emblem. We do have a lot of cards in our deck still. And the emblem is really only a killer when he starts chaining off Dig Through Time and stuff like that. <laughs> yep, that's a kick in the teeth. Oh my. Oh my. I think we might <clears throat> come back a little bit here. With this silk wrap. Get that Jace for seven? That was a bold attack, Cotton. I guess he can hit us for six. Since he has the fumarole now. Yeah. And then if we draw a land, we can play like three blockers. But we are pretty low on life here. Really just depend on what his last card is. If his last card is a Just Guy Charm, then we are dead. But maybe he won't attack with Reflector Mage to try to keep his Jace around. That would be tight. Nah, he's got a. Either he has it or he's looking for it. Yeah. Well, maybe he baited us real good and has Just Guy Charm. We don't have a lot of options. I suppose we'll just scale an endless one and put up a couple blockers. Yep. Yeah, if we played, I guess we could have played Avatar. No, we would have died because he has the Mass Rider plus the activation. Okay. Well, whatever. You win. Flyers are good. Removal is good. Alright, we'll be back with the conclusion in just a moment.